Salutations, friends and strangers of the interwebs. Welcome back to the channel, Stevie Wonder Woman. I am said Stevie. Happy Monday. And it happens to be Mail Call Monday. I got some pretty uh, cool things in the mail today. Just so happens that it seems like most of my deliveries come on Monday. Um, so, uh, hope you all had a fabulous weekend um, and enjoying the start to your week. But without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, today is Mallory Monday. So my unboxing knife will be the Mallory Design Forest. All right, I have uh, first, these both come from uh, White Mountain Knives. Uh, made some orders from them. Um, ooh. It looks like someone tried to open this. Hmm, this should be interesting. Um, but uh, I placed two separate orders from White Mountain Knives uh, and actually used code uh, Lefty10 and saved a little bit of money. Money, money, money. And if I'm not mistaken, yeah, uh, they like to use peanuts in their packaging. So uh, let me get those out of the way. Um, the first one here is a knife that I've had. Uh, this is, I think, the third or fourth one that I've bought. I've sold most of them. Um, but this one just uh, came out, and it was intriguing enough to me to where I ordered it again. Um, so, QSP. Um, looks like QSP is now uh, including some stickers. Cool. Um, so, got that sticker there. And, hint, hint to what this is. I really like that. That's a penguin, and it says, have a knife day. Yeah, this is another penguin. Um, so, I recently got the um, black titanium with the stonewash blade. Uh, that's the one I've had for a little while. I really dig that one. Then they had to go and release this. Frag Pattern. And I love me. I'm really digging Frag Pattern as of late. So, I had to get it. I had to get it. And I really dig it. So, um, action is good. Just as you would expect out of a uh, penguin. God, I keep messing that up, though. On the middle finger flick. But, uh, yeah. Another penguin. I think what I'm going to do is... Oh, I thought that was a satin blade. It's not. It's still stonewashed. So, I think, actually, what I'm going to do, though, is swap pocket clips on that. I want the stonewash clip on the black uh, frag pattern. And then I'm going to sell this one off. Or maybe give it away. I don't know. We'll see. But that is the first of the packages. This one uh, is a knife that after um, looking at it for year, not eight years, for quite some time, um, I finally decided to pull the trigger on. And that's because uh, right now, most of my collection um, for 2021 is going to be uh, the knives that I'm getting for 2022, I'm sorry. Um, are really going to be uh, based on the designers that I'm really into um, based on my experiences for 2021. So uh, this here is a best tech. And um, let's see here. So I've never had a best tech that came wrapped like this. But this here, um, all right, so this is a box that you lift off. Yeah, I've never uh, had a best tech that was uh, this fancy, I suppose. So, um, comes in a nice zippered, uh, single zippered pouch. Looks like uh, we got your standard uh, yum yum silica packets that you can eat uh, on the car ride later. 
You got a uh, Best Tech Wiping Cloth. And more importantly, you got the knife. So I've been wanting this one for a while. And this is the Best Tech Shodan that is designed by Todd Knife and Tool. So um, I have the Wii Roxy 3 right here. Um, this made my top 10 list for 2021. And this was my first and up until today, my only uh, Todd Knife and Tool. And um, yeah, so uh, again, the Best Tech Shodan. Can you see the, they got TKT on the pivot there. And you can see very, very similar design language on the two there. This is a Wii knife, as I said. This is a Best Tech. Um, this is a much larger size knife. Um, but again, very, very similar design language. You can see very similar in the uh, pocket clips. You can already see before I uh, deploy the nut, the Shodan. Um, the uh, jimping is very similar. The fuller and the blade is very similar. The hole opening, although a little bit uh, longer on this one, is very similar. Um, same, uh, you know, you got those speed holes, I guess, um, in the uh, milled into the titanium handle there. So this is the gray tie with a satin blade. So um, flipper uh, plus finger hole deployment. Um, let's finger flick it, see how it goes. Boom. Oh, look at that blade. This is a pretty full-size knife. I think we're coming in like 3.67 inch on the blade. Very comfortable in hand. And then look how big of a... So even back here, I got a full grip. And then with that finger toil, so you got the little, the little humpty hump there. So this, you are locked into this knife right here big time. And it's got kind of like a finger stop on it. This is f a fully chamfered uh, finger choil there. So, um, yeah, let's. This has been sitting out in a very cold um, uh, mailbox all day. So, uh, I'm sure if it's oiled, this is probably not as viscous. But let's see how it drops. Solid. I can tell this, once it warms up and breaks in, uh, this is going to be, yeah, I really, really dig this. Let's check the flipper tab. Fires out. Detent seems great on this. Um, Best Tech does sometimes have weaker detents. This doesn't seem to be weak. Can't, oh, I did shake it open. All right, so, um, but it took a lot of effort to, yeah, I think the detent on this is not too bad at all. So, yay, I am excited to uh, spend some time with this paired with that. So this is going to make a nice uh, TKT Tuesday Instagram post. I am really digging this. This is pretty lightweight, I got to say. I don't have the specs up in front of me. Um, I'll do a uh, long-term or... A, more of a uh, uh, detailed review on this probably soon and give some of those. But this is, for the size of it, feels pretty light. Best Tech Shodan, Todd Knife and Tool, digging it. Now, this one is something I've been waiting for. And look who that comes from. It comes from your boy, Backpack B. That's right. Um, uh, Backpack B was cool enough to, uh, uh, ask if there was anything of his that I wanted to check out. And, um, I said, hey, brother, if you're offering, I will absolutely check something out. What do you recommend? And what he recommended was, um, oh, there's something else in here. Ooh. So that's everything in here. Um, <laughs> of course, came with a uh, removable uh, thumb stud. 
in a uh, little envelope here. Uh, let's see what we have in here. So I will slice this bad boy open. So, um, of course, if you guys, uh, you, you know Backpack B, right? Which, by the way, uh, today is Monday. If you watch this in time, check out Backpack B's Instagram story for his uh, preview of his uh, Shadow, um, TRM Shadow video that he's got coming up on Instagram. It's one of the best, most hype uh, Instagram stories ever. It's it's done really well. But uh, as, as I'm sure if you follow Backpack B, you know... He's all about the uh, thumb studs. So uh, in here we have, um, uh, we got some dope uh, Backpack B stickers. That is hella cool. Yeah, the Mirror Edge Knife Gang. Another uh, Backpack B sticker. Ooh, this one seems to be, that one is like a, I'm going to put that one on my truck. So that's like a clear uh, see-through one, and then another, uh, one, so, um, this says, and this will reveal what this knife is going to be, it says, Stevie, I hope you dig checking out the Lucas P, enjoy the stickers, all the best, B, so yeah, um, he sent me his, um, uh, what is it, wear tool, right? Quick, uh, Lucas P. Yeah, this is, uh, the wear tool, uh, Lucas P. Um, wow, this, I believe the OEM on this is, uh, Riot, if I'm not mistaken. But, uh, you have a, um, it's a smaller knife for sure. But you have, a uh, titanium with what appears to be a micarta, very smooth micarta inlay on there. Um, nice, uh, uh, 3D milled, uh, titanium pocket clip. Uh, this looks like a bolster lock with some awesome thumb studs. So, uh, this is perfectly centered. I didn't check the centering on my last two knives, but this is perfectly centered. And, uh, so let's give it a flick. Ooh, that is snappy. Wow, that is an amazing uh profile of a knife i am digging that blade um kind of a clip point harpoon point uh reminds me kind of of where is it where is it it's a uh, very similar shape to the mbk pincher uh, i believe that is a uh, clip point blade maybe it's a harpoon point harp, harpoon point but uh, I am digging that. So you have the, uh, on the blade there. Ooh, just stabbed myself with it. You have the WT logo, the Wear Tool logo on there. That it's a black stonewashed blade. Um, done really well, by the way. Uh, this is actually the first time I'm checking out a black stonewashed blade. Um, I didn't think I would typically like that, but actually now seeing it in person, I am digging that. Um, I did stab myself right there. You can't see that, but yeah, stabbed myself. Um, this is a, I believe a bolster lock. Um, ergos, uh, this is perfect actually. Uh, nice uh, thumb ramp right there uh, with some uh, good jimping. Um, yeah, let's check, uh, see how it drops. Ooh, ooh, just, wow, um, the action on this is smooth as hell, uh, the deep end is dialed in perfect for these, uh, for either the thumb, uh, or the, uh, middle finger flick there, this is dope, I am digging this bad boy, so, um, yeah, more to come on this one. See how I uh, fancy this after a couple days. But uh, yeah, f uh, shout out to uh, Backpack B um, for sending this for me to check out. I'll be spending some time with it. And uh, yeah, so there you go. I uh, got the uh, QSP frag pattern. Let's check the centering on that again. 
er, again for the first time. Yep, it's centered. Um, and then, of course, the uh, Best Tech Shodan. Shodan, Shodan. Centering is perfect on that. No blade play either. No blade play on that or or the Powangan. And then, of course, the weird tool, Lucas P. I am digging this, man. Yeah. So, yep. There you have it, folks. That is another Mail Call Monday in the books. So, um, appreciate you tuning in. Checking the uh, video out. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know, uh, did you guys get anything, uh, from Mail Call Monday? How's your week going? Yeah. Until then, um, until we, uh, see each other again. I don't know. Still, ending the videos are still weird for me. I don't really ever know how to just naturally end a video. Anyway. Love and appreciate each and every one of you. And, um, yeah, until the next one, deuces.